What's going on, everyone? So Nick Nurse is officially the head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers and is going to have his work cut out for him, right? Um, the Sixers have championship aspirations. They want to win. And Nick Nurse's relationship with, uh, you know, Daryl Morey and his little back and forth little spiffs with uh, uh, Joel Embiid, all of those things, that it'll be interesting. It'll be an interesting dynamic. But he had his introduction press conference. And in that, he had some, you know, just generic stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm happy to be here. Uh, you know, I'm, you know, we want to win. Got Joel Embiid, one of the great talents, all that stuff. Uh, they talked about the hiring and, and his position and with Maury and all that stuff. And uh, I do think he's an upgrade over Doc Rivers. I don't think he's much of an upgrade over Doc Rivers, but I do think he's slightly an upgrade over Doc Rivers. Uh, I do think that he can do a good job. I still am not sold on this Sixers team winning an NBA championship, but one of the big things that he said, or I should say didn't say, was about James Harden. He was asked a relative softball question of like, you know, do you want James Harden back on, on the Sixers next season? And he did everything he could to kind of dance around and run circles around the possibility of James Harden being back, which I thought was incredibly interesting and incredibly telling. Now, to be fair, he sort of paused in the middle of it all and said, you know, hey, um, you know, James Harden is a great player and I'd be happy to have him back or, you know, we'd love to have him back type thing. I'm paraphrasing here. But... He spent like three minutes arguing <laughs> and just dodging the question entirely, which maybe he knows something, right? And he doesn't want to put that out to the public. Supposedly, and this has been heavily rumored, that James Harden is heading back to the Houston Rockets, and it's not a secret, and that Philadelphia is well aware that he is going back to the Houston Rockets. So, if that's the case, and you just hired your new head coach, I'm pretty sure you would have told your head coach, like, hey, just to let you know, James Harden, he's not going to be a Houston Rock, or he's going to be a Houston Rocket next year. He's not going to be with the Sixers next year, right? Like, that's information that you would want to tell your new head coach. So, as he's putting together his game plans and, you know, kind of looking at what is he going to do with his star or star's if he was going to stay, he would know, right? James Harden, I think, is gone. I think the writing's on the wall. Um, I think that that whole press conference was a, a big spotlight on that. But also, if there was any type of, like, James Harden, one foot in, one foot out, not really knowing which direction he's going to go, I think that just completely took his other foot out and now he is out entirely because again if you're a star player that your organization wants to keep and wants to keep around and you've heard all these rumors about me wanting to go to Houston and I'm leaving the Sixers and blah 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 and your new head coach that they just hired gets asked a softball question about their star and he does everything he can not to answer that question I would be like, all right, there's my sign. It's time for me to go, right? Like, it would be. Like, why would you want to stick around for that? And so I don't know if, I, I just, I feel like that was the the sort of nail in the coffin of like, all right, James, <laughs> James Harden is gone. Like, he's not sticking around. And they know, Nick Nurse knows that that's the case, right? Because, I mean, it, look, even if, even if you were unsure or even if you did know, like, why not just say, like, yeah, you know, we, we love James Harden. We hope he comes back. He's got to make decisions for himself. But, you know, we're expecting him to be back, and we would love to have him back. Or even if you take out the expecting part, you know, like, you know, oh, yeah, I, I, I really can't wait till, you know, myself, James Harden, and Joel Embiid are able to, to sit down and come, come up with a plan together to try to win an NBA championship. we got this common goal in mind and blah, 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 blah. Like, 
you know, the general PC stuff. And then if James Harden leaves, it's like, well, you know, I, hey, I wanted James Harden to stay. I wish he would have stayed. Unfortunately, he did it. I'm going to focus on the team I have now. You know, you, you see those questions and those answers all the time. So for the for your head coach of the organization to say and basically dodge around like, you know, well, hey, James Harden, you know, he's going to do what's best for him. Like, And even the reporter was like, that's not my question. Like, do you want James Harden on this team or not? You know, and he was like, well, well, you know, I'm just going to say, like, he just sat there and danced around the question forever. And I fully believe, I really do, I really believe, James Harden leaves to the Houston Rockets. I really think that Joel Embiid follows suit very shortly after. Very shortly after. Like, genuinely. I really do. I think that Joel Embiid is going to say, I, we have no real assets to trade, no real cap space. Um, James Harden is gone. It's me and a bunch of role guys. Max Christie has some potential, but do I really want to wait three years for him to find that potential and fulfill that potential? Uh, yes, they got a new head coach, Nick Nurse, but how much better is he than, you know, say a Doc Rivers or something like that? And I really think Joel Embiid, sooner or later is going to ask out. Maybe he gives them the off season to kind of figure it out. Maybe, you know, he gives them the full season to figure it out and kind of goes, all right, well, you know, I'll give you this year. I'll write it out this year and then we'll see. Maybe, but I think if things are going bad, which I do think they will, I wouldn't be shocked if by the trade deadline, Joel Embiid rumors or even this offseason, I think you're going to hear a lot of rumors of Joel Embiid potentially leaving the Philadelphia 76ers. I also think at the trade deadline, if things aren't looking good for Philly, I wouldn't be shocked at all if we get breaking news, Joel Embiid has been traded to so-and-so. I, I, I absolutely think that that is on the horizon sooner rather than later. You know, maybe maybe he'll wait around. You know, maybe Philly will be able to find somebody or do something, but I don't know what that is. I don't know who that is. They don't have the assets. There's no real star in in free agency this year. I don't I don't know how you fix this. You know, and I think I think we got our I think we got our answer that James Harden is gone. I still don't think that they win a championship with James Harden and Joel Embiid because I think you have two of the most disappearing act players in the playoffs as star as far as stars go in the entire league. So it's a it's a sinking ship just just taking on water and they're just doing everything they can i think joel Embiid, you know and the whole the the process and trust in the process and everything i mean where's it gotten you hasn't gotten you anywhere it's gotten you nothing but second round exits you know for the last several years and philly's made a lot of just really bad decisions along the way um just a lot of just Bad choices and player personnel, stuff like that. Just the handling of stuff. Like even the Ben Simmons situation was an absolute disaster for them. Um, choosing Tobias Harris over Jimmy Butler. That whole thing. Uh, it's just There's just so many things that you can point to and just go like, like what could have been? Like Philly is definitely one of the biggest like what ifs. Because Philly had several moments and several opportunities to where they could have, they probably should have and could have won a couple championships by now. Like, for real, honestly. You know, or at least been to a couple finals, you know. Uh, I don't know if you would have been able to beat that Golden State team those years, but, you know, I do think Philly were in position and primed in a position to where they could have won at least a championship or two. At least. And I just think that they've dropped the ball every step of the way. And... Now it's just like that that last domino finally fell. All the James Harden rumors of him leaving. Yeah, you hire a head coach and the head coach won't even really acknowledge James Harden. And, you know, you, you throw him as softball of a question as possible. And he just lets the ball fall in front of him. Just it pretends like it wasn't even thrown. Like, it's just, I don't know. Usually where there's smoke, there's fire. And, uh. I think that we're we're gonna start watching Philly go up in flames here shortly, because uh, once I mean once Embiid ass out, that's it. 
Now, now you're full rebuilt. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Joel Embiid might yield one of the biggest returns in NBA history. So you're you're gonna make out like a bandit. You're gonna you're gonna get some nice compensation. Um, you know, and you and luckily you do have a lot of teams with a lot of young talent right now. Got a lot of teams with a lot of just assets and draft capital. Uh, even teams like the Knicks have like they're just overflowing with assets and picks and stuff like that. So um, you're definitely in a position, uh, or trade them to trade them to uh, Portland. Go let them play with Damian Lillard. Go get the number three pick. Go get you know Sharp. Go get uh, Simons. I mean, that's a pretty good foundation there. You know, if you could end up with Sharp, who was great this season, the number three pick, which is probably Scoot Henderson, and then you could also get Simons. You got, you know, you could, you got basically four core key guys, trade Tobias Harris, trade everything else, and just start, embrace the rebuild and start the tank. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Do you think that the writing's on the wall? Do you think this is it? What did you think of Nick Nurse's comments? Uh, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are. Love to hear it. Let me know.